Okay, everybody, once again to one of my boring episodes of uh, Kev's workshop. Got me uh, 18 class out for the first time. Doing the recording during February 2021. 18 class is a project I did last year in 2020. And I've got the Austrain's Neo S trucks sitting behind it. It's the first time this set of carriages have been out onto some track. Otherwise, I've just been sitting in the box for the last couple of months since, um, months since I've got them. So I'm going to do you a bit of a demo. My old Hornby um, Terrier. So it's a full rebuild. Not much left original. Going around my layout called Wombat Flats, of course. I've got something else special to show you. It's another project from last year. That, that special project is hidden around the corner a minute. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Ah, it would stop there, wouldn't it? Hand of God. Oh well, it's going to be a pain in the bum. But anyway, that's, that's roughly my uh, 18 class project, just doing almost a lap of the layout. I wouldn't believe without the camera running you did lap after lap. But anyway, such is life. Give you a bit of an idea on detail in this 18 class. Some of the work that I've done, put them out at the safety valves, done all the pipe work, done the air compressor, which you might be able to see here, done all the handrails, added the headlight, modified the chimney a bit. The only thing I really need to add into it now is a rear headlight. But, apart from the rear headlight, that's the logo basically complete. Now another one of my projects that followed this a year ago. Well, this was done um, February, March 2020, this project. The one that follows that is the New South Wales D57. So, what we shall do is we'll change this set over to another set. Bear with me a moment. Okay, following the 18 class project, it's the D57 class project, also done during the COVID lockdown of 2020. As you can see, it's a very highly detailed model. And all the valve gear on the front is fully functioning. So in real life that was a three-cylinder loco. I've got a four-part video of this on my YouTube channel as well for those who haven't seen it already. So each four parts shows each of the main stages of this and this is the first on the loco we'll be having a run around the layout and these carriages here the New South Wales BCHs this is the first on out of the box so they're also going to have a run this thing to put it on a dead spot at the moment yep Need a bit more power, I think. That's all my steam loco projects. Put real loco coal in the tender. I'll give you a nice pacing shot. Oh, that's typical. Let's bear with me a sec. 
a bit more power comes up and back in. Okay, if you can't pass here, this is another project I did once before. I've just done the power car this year, 2021. Lee Max BT rebuild. Done in the colours for the X2000 tilt train. Custom done decals for it. And a lot of extra modifications. I might come back to this project in a while because there's something else I'd love to show you. Okay, here we go from a different point of view. After the 18 class and the D57, I got onto this. Yep, Back to the Future Part 3. That was a um, Hot Wheels DeLorean which I've actually rebuilt. And I've done it all as per the movie. I've even rebuilt the chimney. As you see, I've got some cotton wool. It's been supported by some MIG welding wire, which you can just see in about here. But hopefully when I get this done properly, the um, cotton wool will end up be dyed green. This is the opposite side of the locomotive. It's a Tyco Mantra 460. I've actually rebuilt the, the hatch here on the roof. And I've done the uh, back end of the tender as well. There's just a deck of plastic. On top of that, some gum tree sticks, which are pretty much in abundance here in Australia. I've done the load as per the movie, and yeah, it spills down into the front as well. And even though I've detailed it a bit, it's not quite complete just yet. Very soon I shall be getting the decals for it, they're due in very soon. But here's the side of the loco you see in the movie when Doc is on the side there and um, basically at least with this having the Back to the Future scene I will be making an actual model diorama for this but what I've done I've actually put some HO scale wheels underneath it had to drill out the eyelets of course I had to chop and change a fair bit just to get these HO scale wheels to sit in I've had to cut the pit cut the pin points off, made the spokes myself on both sides there and that just butts straight up against the locomotive. No coupling, no nothing. So it's designed that as you see it running along, you don't quite get up to 88 miles an hour, sadly enough. Not as I chuck it up to about 18 volts maybe. But yeah, that's the train as you'd see it. I'll do another shot in a moment with it running.
quite up to 88 miles an hour, but hey, it'll have to do. this now parked back in the siding. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you enjoy looking at these uh, projects I've been working on. And my latest project, I'm just going to continue up to here. So these back at least 20 years ago. Getting back onto them. These are the L cars, or the R cars. Six car set. In this case they're the L series. So that's up with the HFL at the front, BL, RFL, sorry, yeah, two BLs, RFL, uh, FL, and another HFL at the back. In real life, these were fitted as a six-car set, permacouple, with couplings for the locomotive at either end. So at least with that, these have white metal couplings in the guts, and handrails on the ends of each carriage. A lot of underfloor detail, and these will get painted in New South Wales brown with the yellow band down the side. And um, not far from being ready to be painted at this stage. So, happy by the end of March 2021, I might have these completed I'm using 3830's tender, only because it's got the KDs on it. Lima 38 class, of course. 3830's tender on the back of 3801 and because of the coupling adaption I do have an adapter car but I couldn't be bothered getting that out at this stage but the movie steam trains passes sorry the steam train passes that's basically what you see enjoy my video and I'll catch you later